Sean here with uh, Soda Solar. We do RV solar work. Putting solar on this uh, Winnebago view right now and a whole bunch of battery. If you want to see how that comes together and how you can get 1,800 watts or so on an RV like this, maybe it's 16. I think 1,600 watts, my mistake. Uh, stick around, see how it all works. We've been hard at it here for quite a while. We're getting two batteries in there, two giant batteries in there. Uh, if that looks unsafe, don't worry. We got it figured out. But uh, Levi has been working on the solar rack up there, doing a great job. Oh, yeah. I'll go uh, show you how that's working here in a second. And we got uh, one more big old panel to put up there. All right, so we've got uh, two 200 watt panels here. And we like these because they can kind of fit right in here real good. We got another one over there and we moved that one back a little bit because uh, that vent fan, it could come up a little bit inside the cavity of the solar panel. Otherwise, I like to try and keep them the same. But you say they, or you can see they stay out of the airflow. Then it comes straight back here and we're gonna have one panel here, one panel there. These are 600 each. These are 200 each, so 1600. I couldn't math before. All right, down here in the bay, we are in the thick of charging. And uh, our cooling fan is doing its job here. You can see we're at uh, 25 or so degrees Celsius. I'll let the uh, Canadians do the conversion on that. It's probably about 80 degrees or so. Um, so it's sucking out all the hot air out of there. And I think I'm going to add an, an entry vent at the bottom of the MultiPlus because this particular MultiPlus sucks in from the bottom and it exhausts out the top. And uh, we got the 100 amp charger to take care of all those panels up on top. I uh, got a raceway here. We're not doing a Lynx distributor. I kind of made a, my own version of it a little bit with some uh, DC breakers. So I got uh, a 125 amp breaker, another 125 amp breaker, and then the, the uh, solar breaker right there. The 125s are for the solar charger. And then for a main feed going back to the house system. And we'll take a look at that there. Uh, as far as this, what's in this bay, okay, we've got the MultiPlus 100 amp charger. Uh, we've got a smart dongle for the MultiPlus. We're not doing a servo, no crazy smarts on this one, but two of these 580 amp hour Litime batteries. They are ginormous. I know what you're thinking, uh, Sean. That's like 400 pounds in this little bay. There's no way it's rated for that. I agree with you there. Take a look at this. We reinforced the bottom of this with Unistrut, and we did like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it, we're hanging it from all thread, threaded into the uh, aluminum framing. Basically, they got these uh, aluminum uh, frame rails that run side to side on this, and it's a slot, and I was able to use the, um, uh, the Unistrut slot nuts in there and it worked so i'm going with it so that is good and secure there let's take a look in here if that wasn't enough we did two 300 amp hour lie time batteries and we got the smart shunt here keeping a track of the state of charge and then this is that line uh no this is not that line but we do have um that line running from that system coming up into here. And I think we're combining it with uh, the alternator charging line here, and then going to a positive bus bar here. And that's where the smart shunt gets connected. And there's a couple other sense wires that go in there. Uh, the reason why we did it that way is I wanted our big uh, 400 amp die hole shut off there to actually shut the entire system off. I'm a big fan of that. And the problem is when not everything is disconnected is sometimes in storage, there's little draws that will draw these batteries down and that is the worst thing that can happen for these. So that's what I'm a big fan of. When you put these in storage, charge them up 100%. I know people say 70, 80% or 60%. I, I, I don't think so. I say charge them up 100% because that way it buys you more time, more wiggle room, because the worst thing that can happen to these is used for, to go dead. That's far worse and then being stored at 100%, in my humble opinion. Fight me in the comments. Then in here, uh, we ended up back behind here. This one is no longer working. We uh, spliced 
uh, basically connected the solar in to the battery in, connected those together. And then those wires come down here into a compartment underneath here and uh, splice those into some new solar wires that run underneath here along with the uh, AC ins and outs that go to that breaker box in there. So that's how that gets connected. And yeah, we're about ready to put the cover back on here. We did have to modify this box quite a bit to make that work. As you can see, this is stock that's modified, but that's how you get two 300 amp hour batteries in uh, the step on these Winnebago views or similar uh, class B's, B pluses, what are we calling them? Love these, by the way. I mean, it's a van front end, anyone can drive it, but you get a slide, you get bed, full bathroom, kitchen. It's kind of like the best of both worlds as far as van versus our RV. So that's, uh, I think that's it there. I need to uh, do a lot of cleanup. As you can see, the shop has gotten very dirty, but uh, I've been fighting a cold for the last two weeks, so that's why this has been taking a while. So anyway, I'm gonna get this put together and we'll check in. All right, we have been charging all this time. Are you ready for it? You can hear the fan running. It's been staying plenty cool in here. It's probably been a couple hours. It's been continuing to charge. And uh, we're at about 30 degrees back there, which in this cramped space isn't bad. <clears throat> That's how we're ending up on that. They're gonna be able to run the uh, air conditioner all night, no problem, even though it's a 12 volt system. Really happy with the way this came out. Really happy. So if you or someone you know needs solar like this, put on something like this or even something different, check us out at sodasolar.com. That's spelled like that. Short for Minnesota. So from all of us here at Soda Solar, myself, Levi, Bear, uh, and all the other cast of characters that are on from time to time, we will see you next time and thank you for tuning in.